Could the current custody battle for Harrison bring out some secrets we never knew? Rumor has it, Kyle could not be his biological dad after all. So could this mind-blowing plot twist be possible? Melissa Ordway also reveals that Abby's having second thoughts about her engagement to Devin. That's not all, you don't want to miss out on what these Y and her stars are up to as well. So, watch till the end of the video to find out all about it. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. We all knew the divorce between Kyle and Summer, and Young and the Restless was not going to go so smoothly. But no one ever thought it was going to get so ugly. Summer has gone and done the worst, filing a custody battle for Harrison. Now, we have to admit we were stunned at first too. We thought she was threatening Kyle and wouldn't actually go through it. But who are we kidding? She is her mother's daughter. But if you think about it, Summer's custody move actually came from her jealousy with Claire. She never liked the fact Claire was babysitting Harrison and when Kyle still kept her despite everything, Summer got angrier and angrier. Plus, Kyle teaming up with Audra, the woman he cheated on Summer with, and him moving out of the Abbott Mansion, just added fuel to the fire. Now, the case is filed, we can only expect, both parties are going to do their best to prove the other one is not fit to raise Harrison. Meaning, secrets and scandals are going to come out, and people are about to get hurt. But if we look at it, the clear winner in this custody battle is Kyle. He is the biological dad and he's done a pretty good job raising him, except for the little big hiccup when Hasserson got kidnapped by Crazy Jordan. But hey it's not like it was his fault, it was the crazy woman who did it. So, Summer has that incident to hold over him but what about Kyle? Except for the fact she's not his mom nor did she ever legally adopt him, he might bring up how she abetted in Phyllis's fake death stunt. She knew very well that her mom was alive but she didn't come forward. But what if in the heat of a tense argument, Summer snaps and questions the validity of Kyle's paternity test? This twist could flip the entire storyline on its head. What if, in a fit of frustration and hurt, Summer blurts out her doubts about the DNA test that supposedly confirmed Kyle as Harrison's father? Kyle's been really mad over the custody chaos Summer's stirred up, and he's not shy about throwing it in her face that she's not little Harrison's biological mom. Ouch, right? I mean he wouldn't say that ever but the way Summer's been acting up, he's got no choice but to. Even though it's technically true, it's also a cruel dig, considering Summer has been Harrison's mom in every meaningful way for years. Harrison even calls her mommy, so Summer's not thrilled with Kyle's attempts to downplay her role in his life. But what if the tables turned on Kyle in a jaw-dropping twist? He's been so focused on Summer not sharing a blood with Harrison that he's overlooking his own connection to Harrison? Up until now, Kyle has been confident in his role as Harrison's dad, based on the DNA test results. Remember when Kyle had that DNA test done to confirm Tara Locke's story about Harrison being his son? What if Tara, Harrison's real mom, who had her eyes set on Kyle and the Abbott fortune, found a way to rig the results? I mean it would be no surprise because one of the signature plot moves of soaps are paternity test switch-ups. In fact, she was always gushing about how grateful she was that Harrison was an Abbott. Sounds a bit fishy, doesn't it? Tara was desperate to escape her crumbling relationship with Ashland Locke, and a rich Abbott husband was her golden ticket. Given her past with Ashland, who had his own paternity test done to confirm Harrison wasn't his, there's a chance Tara was juggling more lovers than we thought. What if she hooked up with other young guys too in the Hamptons, just like she did with Kyle? And if it does reach to the point where Kyle will have to do a paternity test again, what if it reveals Harrison's biological father isn't Kyle but someone else entirely? Theo Vanderway could be a possibility, which might bring him back into the storyline with a bang. Or perhaps Tara tampered with Ashlyn's DNA test too, meaning Harrison could be Ashlyn's son after all, making his biological father dead. This plot twist could turn Kyle's world upside down. So, stay tuned to see if YNR will play out this story or not. Do you think there could be some chances Kyle's not the father? Anyways, this whole situation calls for Tara's return to Genoa City. While Kyle's got his own dilemma going on right now, Abby Newman does too. On the July 24th episode of Young and the Restless, Abby said a big yes to Devin. Like we did have a feeling they eventually would get engaged, but so fast, it was definitely a surprise for Abby as well as the fans. We're happy either way but Abby might not be so much. Turns out the newly engaged Newman is having her second doubts if it's the right thing to do. In an interview with Soap Opera Digest, Melissa Ordway, the actress who brings Abby to life, says Abby has no questions about whether or not they're meant for each other. They know everything about each other because they've been through the best of times and the worst of times together. She's listening to her heart, so of course she'd say, I want to marry you. She explained. Abby even told her mom, Ashley who's in Paris to get the treatment she needs, that she and Devin were engaged. Abby is giving her something to look forward to and get better for. 
There's going to be a wedding and Ashley is very excited. Ordway also remembered how Neil is Abby's godfather and the relationship he had with Ashley as best friends and sometimes even lovers makes this marriage even more special between the two families. But not all exciting for Abby as Ordway says she's having second thoughts on Ty engagement. She probably went to bed last night and started overthinking everything, Ordway says. I can definitely relate to Abby with that. You start thinking about things too much and you're like, oh, my gosh, what am I doing? This is bad. This could end terribly. This is her one true love and he's everything that she's ever wanted, and it feels so perfect now. Since Abby loves Devin so much, she doesn't want to ruin this. Her past relationships have never worked out and what she's got with Devin is so special. There's a risk in it as well. Ordway says she's sensing a pattern, she's been married to Stitch and Chance and they didn't work out, and didn't work out with Arturo after they got engaged. And now the last thing that Abby would ever want is to hurt Devin because he's the love of her life and also her best friend. But that's where Ashley comes in. Abby's fear and anxiety is creeping and the only one who can calm it down is her mom. She's always been such a cheerleader and peacemaker for the Abbots and the Newmans, and she just does not want to mess up her own family with Devin, says Ordway. But then Ashley says, stop listening to the voices in your head and listen to what your gut has to say? And that's how Abby realizes what she really needs to do. We just know these second thoughts are gonna pass by soon, like who doesn't get a cold feet before getting married right? Now, we just gotta wait and see how this pans out. Last but not the least, Alison Lanier who's been playing as Summer has nothing but praises for the adorable actor behind Harrison, Redding Munsell. He is such a bright young kid, she says. He's on set joking around with everybody, so it's really easy to connect with him. They're even hanging out together between scenes which has been helping them build a bond for their character's relationship. Lanier thinks the casting team did a very good job finding Redding. He's really worked out beautifully, she said. Working along with Joshua Morrow for almost 30 years has proven a thing or two for Sharon Case. One of them is that Morrow is the funniest man she knows and she just loves making him laugh and she takes honor in it too. She said, he's so funny that you think, oh, it's probably hard to make someone like that laugh, and maybe it is in some regards. It's not like he's heavy-hearted, because he's not, but with Josh, you've got to be really funny for him to laugh. And so when I make him bust up, I'm like, wow, hey, I'm funny. She takes this as a huge compliment, and over the years he has even stolen some of her lines and the funny stuff that she makes up. Sharon also said how he uses them, and every time he forgets that he's stolen from me. Before Judith Chapman came to YNR as Gloria Fisher in 2005, she had quite a resume from soaps, to primetime TV and movies but then she decided to move to Palm Springs, California and many people thought she made a career suicide leaving Hollywood. But it was not like that for the actress. In the desert, I was teaching, which is a noble profession, and doing theater and directing, she said. But when she came back to soap as Gloria, she was loved by the media as she was before. She even did an interview with the LA Times. Chapman remembered, there was a gorgeous article, going on about what I've done and working with Angela Lansbury and all of this stuff. It was a nice way to tell those naysayers, I'm back. So, what do you guys think? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.